Turns out China actually does have an answer to the Tesla Cybertruck. It's the convertible SUV pickup truck. It's electric. It's about probably a half the price of a Cybertruck. And I love this idea. It makes complete sense. It's sort of like a mini version of the Cybertruck. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. This is Chang'an, by the way. Chang'an, they are, they've put their hands up. They are coming to Australia, right-hand drive car markets. They're going to be an exporter. They really are focusing on exporting their cars to Europe, um, to right-hand drive car markets like the UK, Australia, New Zealand, uh, Thailand, many other places, possibly even Japan. Yeah, go, go to Japan, guys. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Anyway, this new electric vehicle is very strange. It's a very strange paradigm, but it's also exceptionally practical and logical. In fact, why has no one done this before? Now, to be fair, this is actually in some ways more practical than a Cybertruck because remember when we all thought the Cybertruck would have a mid gate, but then it didn't, unfortunately? Well, this is like having a mid gate, but a full mid gate that just completely removes. The Chang'an CD701 is an SUV that can transform into a pickup. Now, to be fair, the bed is not exactly big. I mean, you wouldn't really call it a pickup truck, but you know, Sort of is. This is a little bit more like the size of the new Fisker electric pickup truck. Small, but still, it would make sense. I mean, think about if you just went to Ikea, right? And you bought something that was too big for your car. Perfect way to still be able to take it home with you. Uh, or anything for that matter, whether that be a table or, you know, whether that be a, a, a bigger item like, a, I don't know, a lawnmower or something bigger. Surfboards, stick them out of the back. I really like this idea. Anyhow, the company said there will be a road going production version of this car coming out next year. And this was unveiled at the Chang'an Automobile Science and Technology Ecological Conference in China. It is actually underpinned by the company's SDA Smart Electric Vehicle Platform, and it takes the form of a five seat SUV with a fairly sleek and aerodynamic design and a sloping roof line at the back that obviously looks a bit like the sloping roof line of the Cybertruck. As far as EVs go, carscoops.com says the design of the CD701's front fascia is relatively simple with C-shaped LED running lights and small headlights. It comes with a display in place of a traditional grill that can show the car's battery percentage and its range. Bit of an unusual idea there. Additional D-shaped LEDs are located on the front bumper and they're similar in design to the DRLs of the Volkswagen T-Roc. Now as you can see the front of this car it looks quite nice. I think it's kind of kind of a masculine styling. It's basically a conventional style. The side profile that's a whole different ball game. It's well for starters it has a very big set of wheels positioned under those squared off arches. It doesn't have any visible door handles which is a good thing I think. It has cameras instead of wing mirrors so obviously you'd have to change that for some countries like the US and a roof line and rear window that stretch back to a high riding deck lid. So it does have like a traditional bed gate at the back. In addition, the SUV can morph into an actual pickup truck as the rear glass panel can slide upwards over the roof. I really like the way that they've designed that. I think that's pretty cool. The intriguing design elements continue at the rear with a semicircular LED light and a display just like the front that displays battery information. The interior of the concept is typical of what we would expect from modern EVs. Flat bottom steering wheel, I think the interior looks quite nice. Now apparently this vehicle will hit the market with autonomous charging. Not exactly sure what that means. However, Chang'an claim that the CD701 will be, be the first vehicle in the world to be equipped with vehicle satellite communication technology, which can achieve global coverage and connect to the internet at any time, never losing connection. Now, I'm wondering, would that mean they'd be using SpaceX, right? As far as I can tell, that's the only real um, global network that is affordable and that actually works well. But I don't think SpaceX is actually legal to use in China. And the problem here is with Chang'an's idea is I don't think the Chinese government would be too happy about people getting around their internet nanny controls, banning things like YouTube and Facebook and everything else um, by using internet from satellites. That seems to be um, something the government you know, might put you in a work labor camp for. Anyway, from January to August this year, Chang'an sold an incredible 1.633 million vehicles. That's of the first 
eight months of the year and a year on year increase of around 11 and percent. The biggest increase though was coming from its EV sales, which were up by 93%. By 2025, the company plans to launch 10 new EVs. By 2030, they claim to be selling 5 million every single year with 1 point million vehicles coming from this specific sub brand. Now, I don't know about you, but even though this car looks weird, as a, through the course of making this video, it's strangely grown on me. Now, would I buy one? Probably not. But if I saw people driving them, I'd think, hey man, good choice. It looks quite practical. Although that said, I have to admit, I don't know a whole lot about this brand. Could be great. Could be not great. We'll have to wait and see. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and thank you for watching.